Hello everybody, Alexander here, back with another Fire Emblem Three Houses Let's Play episode. Uh, just a quick PSA, there is kind of like a block party going on outside, so if you guys hear any noise from that in the background, I'm going to apologize for that real quick. We're going to try to just get through the recording process and get everything said and done as quickly as possible and get to showing you the different maps that you can roll as well as kind of continuing to get Lysithia her friendship points with us today so that we can recruit her. That being said, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe on the videos as well as hit the notification bell if you have enjoyed your time here today and remember to tell your friends, okay? Let's get started. Trying to get this done before the music gets like super intense again because it was making recording almost impossible. Alright, Battle in the Mountains. So again, you want to just uh, go to your units, click on... Oh, whoops. That's the button. That's the one I needed. It's kind of nuts that I can just straight up disable Alex. Um... <clears throat> right, but we need the store because the store lets us buy and sell things i'm actually gonna get rid of his axe because i like never use it i might even get rid of the shield honestly because if i remember correctly that um that added weight does remove his ability to like attack more often. Let's just check everybody's equipment durability here. We should be good. Come back soon. Um, map. So, with, uh... With this map tile, something that you want to remember to... Oh, okay. Oops, a little too far. Uh, something you want to remember to do is kind of check where you have everybody, because your units are divided here, right? So we definitely don't want Linhart, or not Linhart, but, um, gosh, Hubert, where he is. I had Linhart on the brain because I was thinking of replacing him rather soon with somebody, but that is going to require a good bit of effort. See, I'm just now realizing I don't have that many melee units. That's because Caspar is like a no-go. Hmm. Well, damn. Alright, so what's going to have to happen here? is I'm going to switch Edelgard with Anna. And then these two are going to take point on melee, and we're going to kind of just stay back and poke. This is what I think is going to have to happen here. Okay. Because I was going to try to do my best to show you guys how I utilize choke points in combat. Not just in this, but in anything where, like... Moving my units across a set of tiles Stay is focused. something I'm allowed to do. Aye, aye. I'm gonna move Anna here. Leave it to me. Okay, yeah, see, Petra, it scares me that they all want to give you the smoke. But I don't really think I have a choice. So we're just going to let it happen and I hope it doesn't prevail. suck. Put her there, and we're going to do the I same thing with iron. this guy. Okay, no. so the reason why we're not going up any further... Like, we're not moving from this spot until all of the enemies are dead. That's my cue. Is because it forces them to fight us at least one at a time, at worst two at a time. 
right? But there's never going to be a situation, like, over on this side, where I'm going to get, like, hard outnumbered. And, uh, yeah. We're just going to end turn. Kind of see what happens here. Because the red lines that I was showing you guys were like they target the units, that shit can sometimes be deceptive because it will show that like all of the units are going to attack, but because of the way that like combat hashes out, they just end up changing their like targeting priority because of where like a unit would be standing or something. Petra, now would be a really good time to just outright crit as you often tend to do. That would be exceedingly helpful. She's probably gonna faint. Like if she if she does another round of combat, she's probably gonna faint. Okay, we're good. Because we're not, we're not quite fast enough to start two-hitting yet, and that is part of the problem. So we're going to move Lysithia right here, and she's going to attack this potato. Get him out of here. Notice how he almost, like, okos her, by the way. Because that is very important. He's down. Back? Gosh, I gotta be careful, cause uh, another step forward. Alex here is getting kind of swole, and we gotta avoid him getting too strong. Otherwise, uh, you get this issue where he's just like by default a lot better than any of the other units. My limit is nearby. Get him, Petra. Might as well, One right? More <laughs> so you're gonna you're gonna notice that I I tend to favor risky stuff like that if I know that I can get away with as doing you. it. Who has? I want to give it to Dorothea because, like I was saying uh, before, mages early on can be a pain in the ass to level up. Because they, like, they're not to the point where they're doing, like, tons of damage yet. But they are very- oh my god, Dorothea. They are very much a, uh, that was a very good level up, and later you're gonna see why. Um, it's just, they're very difficult to level early. Gosh, that only goes that far. Alright. I'll have to move uh, Petra within range of his physics. We're gonna try to give the kill to Bernie. Because we always try to give the kill to Bernie. Damn it. Alright. He's gonna take some more damage, but that's okay. Like I said, I'm doing something weird with Ferdinand here. Um. Because I felt like uh, he was weak early, and it's because I hadn't played in a while, and I forgot that he is like a late game unit. He's one of those late bloomer units in these types of video games where it takes him a little while to to get his shit together. But like once he's got it together, he's good. Back to the fray. And I know anybody watching this is like, why do you hate Linhart? <laughs> He's a healer, and it's just like, because every other healer in the game is like, better than him. At everything he tries to do. And it's kind of frustrating. Um... Let's see here. Can I... I can... And it's worth it to do so. Okay. I'm gonna put her right there, because she's not gonna get targeted. And that's what I'm trying to avoid happening. Petra needs to go... Like, here. Or... Maybe just stay where she's at. Okay. 
Yeah, you can trade nothing to your own characters, which is an extremely useful thing to know. Can I... gosh. I don't want her eating a laser to the face. That's like what I'm trying to avoid. Because the problem with things that you're trying to make into like mages or archers is they tend to be extremely squishy units. Um, I'm going to move Bernadetta right here and use uh, Linhart to heal him again. And a quick note about Linhart, one of the reasons I don't like him is because his crest, well, it's like a sometimes thing, right? But like an example of why Mercedes for the example being, is better than him at healing, is her crest, or not crest, but like, her unique passive on her quite literally reads, anytime she heals anybody, she heals herself for the same amount, which is nuts. <laughs> That's actually quite good. Oh man. Yeah, Alex is starting to get to the point where he just isn't taking damage from anything. Which, uh, funny enough, that can happen. Is you can get to the point where, uh, you just don't take damage from anything. Ooh, oh. It's kind of gross that she's level 5 and she's, like, almost outright killing other units of her level. I need to keep him alive, so don't kill him. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, so, uh, Nosferatu, by the way, that, that light spell you see most healers using, what's really interesting about that spell is it does actually have to do damage to heal you. So if you're in a situation where, like, you can't damage the enemy at all with that spell, you will not heal from it. Which I think is really cool. Um, is needed. no, I'm going over here, and I'm trading items with, with Potato, and then I'm using the item from Potato, because I do not want Petra to die. So I go here, and I like, I don't know, fire a fireball at you. How much damage does Anna do? Because this is, uh, this is something that you can do where you check your damage outputs. Okay, so theoretically we kill him, assuming we don't get, like, super freaking unlucky. <clears throat> but yeah, you can, um... check your damage outputs, right? Kind of get a rough idea of how much damage your characters will be doing. And then go from there. Get him in, break his knees. <laughs> Thanks Good for the job. business. Jeez. Just reminds me of that Skyrim guard meme. I was an adventure like you until I took an arrow to the knee. And then everybody here seems good, so we're just gonna end. Because I don't need to move my units that are in the choke point, right? Because it's like either enemies are gonna turn and advance on them, or they're not. And in this case, I am doing nothing but trying to give Lysithia friendship points. So it is in my best interest to just leave pretty much everybody where they're at. I will get the victory. I'll walk Petra up, and then I'll use another healing potion. They're pretty cheap in the store, by the way. You could like just buy them for a very small amount of gold. I'm gonna go here and just rally well Alexander for no reason, basically. And then I'm just gonna end. Because if Axe Boy goes on me... The unfortunate thing is Alex probably just kills him. And now that I'm thinking about it, I should have moved Lysithia within range. Okay, so I know that that's a crit and a crest proc. Are you fucking you kidding fuck me? Well. My god. Okay, so does she get the thing? No. Okay, hold on. So, I'm actually 
gonna go back. And normally I don't do this, but... I really, really, really want her to get the experience. I'm an idiot. You know, it helps to fucking pay attention. That's what it helps to do. See, because we want her here, right? Why do you know heal? That's interesting. Um, and then we can just put... Oh god, but if we put him there, he gets targeted. That's not what we want, so now we're gonna end. Okay, so this is what I was talking about with the time rewind thing. Um, it unfortunately makes it so that... In order for you to make death in this game matter, you would have to explicitly put yourself under rather strict rules. It's Each battle really a chance to grow. That, that works that way. And I have to wonder if uh like unit interaction once they've decided to attack you is a fixed ratio. That's interesting. I don't know. Uh let's see here. So we're basically just gonna end turn. Um, but now that I know you know heal, this is about to get really interesting. See, cause I'm gonna go here, and then I'm gonna use the assist on Anna Banana. Huh, super grateful. Cool. And then, yeah, everybody here is just gonna wait. There's literally no reason to do anything else. I realize it's not super exciting, but this is just the best way to handle it. And it's because, like, the brush cover just gives such good stats early, there's no reason not to use it. And he's swinging at Stay Cynthia. Okay, so we're just gonna move her here. And... All right, so I will get the fine. Victory. We put Petra here. Aye, aye. We move her back a step, and then we wait. Yep, and then it doesn't matter what he does, right? Because he he swings at Petra and he gets close to dying, or he swings at Alex and he dies. Either way, Lysithia is getting the support, levels, which is what we want. Oh, God damn it, Petra. Could your passive just fucking proc? <laughs> it's because her, like, uh. God, even her dex and luck is actually fairly higher this early. Like, why is she not curting more of them? It's kind of annoying. Uh, alright. So, I know it doesn't give levels, but I'm giving her the kill. Because I'm pretty sure it gives her more support. I might be wrong about that. Do not, like, of hold me to I'm that, but I'm fairly certain it gives her more support. At least it would make sense for it to. Uh, you know? Yeah, you, you dinguses can go ahead and just keep charging them. I'm fine with that. I am totally good with you running at them like a bunch of lemmings. Oh, gosh. Okay, well, she missed, so that sucks. Okay, so what is with Alex's, like, proclivity to just crit a nerd? That's, Should like, I what, the that? third one? Like, goddamn. Jeez. Uh, so you guys are gonna see me- oh, my iron sword broke. That's not good. You guys are gonna see me do something a little bit later with the, uh, the thief class. That's quite interesting. And, uh, I'm gonna show you guys it once we actually have access to it. Lysithia, I would like you to hold the biscuits for just a second. Get him. Break his legs. <laughs> Put an arrow at his knee. Make it so that he can't do anything. 
Oh, so like the other thing I was thinking about, uh, real quick side note, is this this guy has seal speed, right? So I have to wonder, I need to go back and reread that, because if it's any damage, I have to wonder like how broken archery could be with like seal speed. It could be kind of hilarious. Um Yeah, Petra, I need this guy to just hate. Can you do that for me? No use. Thanks. Alright, Swords is now C plus gain Bane of Monsters. So those combat arts, make sure that you read them when you acquire them because all of them have specified uses for the most part. So you just want to make sure you're reading your stuff. And he's down. This is what I do. Yeah, we got the bullion. Uh, we're gonna move. Hubert here and use Meyer. Because he, he could use some XP. You were taught for <laughs> nothing. Gosh. Get him. Get him, break his legs. Make it so that his banditing days Each are over. A chance to grow. It's kinda nuts that Alex is already level 10, and it's because Jesus man! It's because he's like having to be the, like, proxy to get her friendship points or whatever. Speaking of which, can I check that? Probably not right now. Um, I would imagine no. We're just gonna end turn and let the enemies run at us because it's faster that way. Okay. So the XP farm is over. Uh, does Edelgard just kill you? See, this is the... No, she was not. Okay. Which is actually good. Get him, 80. What's kind of nuts is, uh... I'm gonna do a thing with her where I'm going to try to get it to where she just doesn't take damage from anything. I'm gonna quite literally turn her into like the ultimate tank if the game lets me. Because if I remember correctly, I have I have done that once before, and I really want to show it to you guys, but I don't know if it's something that has been when fixed. Always nice. Because it seems like something that would get I fixed just by Vonda. proxy of like how defensive stats work. See, I don't like that you get that close to death. Uh, <laughs> battle. No. I'm just gonna move Bernie here, and then we're going to end. Because he can run at me, and then I can like have Linhart use physics on him. Yeah, and then move Bernie to attack. Bernie, what's your level four? Okay. So yeah, uh, move Linhart here, assist physics on this nerd. Back to the fray. Okay, uh, and his crest proc'd, so I got a little bit more healing than I probably should have. Okay, so you know what we're not gonna do? We're not gonna use Ferdinand to attack him. That would end poorly for Ferdinand. <laughs> God. Man, the uh, the tanks just take like a hilarious amount of damage early from like any kind of magic source. I mean, it stays that way for like the whole game though, because a lot of the defender units and tank units, their weakness is that like magic just bones them super hard, and it makes sense. Oh, nice, we got some loot steel. That's cool. So battle in the mountains is done. MVP was Lysithia. I'm hoping that gives her more friendship as well. Okay, so support Alex. Damn it. All right. So where are we at? About six minutes shy of uh, the episode being over for its total runtime allotted. So I'll just do some quick PSA stuff, and then we'll go from there. So as we move forward, my plan here is to turn Ferdinand here into like an armored knight class. I'm going to be focusing on axes and heavy armor with him. 
Edelgard, I don't want to spoil it because they're, like, if you haven't played the game before, right, obviously if you go on the internet and you look hard enough, you are going to find spoilers, but if you are trying to be spoiler free, I'm not going to tell you what she gets. I don't know if this is your first time seeing the game, just there's a reason behind what I'm doing. Uh, Bernadette and the uh, Anna girl are both being turned into the Mounted Archer class because it is one of my favorite in the game. Petra here is getting turned into like the uh, the Sword Pegasus Master class thing. You guys will see it a little bit later. Linhard is getting ditched for Mercedes because she's just a better healer. And I'm going to pick up Felix as a melee unit because I don't have enough of them. And I'm getting rid of Caspar, so I'm probably going to replace him with Ingrid or with Hilda. I haven't decided yet. If there are any class people like the students that you guys want me to recruit, post in the comments below. Right? Like, I have a list of people I'm going to get that I just gave to you. So it's like Ingrid, Felix, and maybe Hilda. But, and uh, Mercedes for sure. But if anybody else wants anybody else recruited, they need to tell me. So that I can make time during the playthrough to do that. Because uh, I know when the cutoff point is. So, yeah, just make sure that you guys are, you know, commenting on stuff. It really helps the channel. Uh, tell your friends. Bring everybody by. We're trying to build a beautiful community here, but I need everybody's help to do that. So, I hope everybody has an awesome day, and thanks for stopping by. Alexander, signing out.